Hello friends and welcome to another Let's Build Newcrest. We are back. We are back at Council Block. We're back furnishing the next place now. The second flat, not apartment. I'm going to keep remembering that this part. Um, watch how many times I fail and say the wrong thing. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to be decorating the second flat. Uh, I've already pulled out a sofa that you can see in the hallway. They're just moving in. Uh, we're going to go above. We're going to go above where you can see Beryl. <laughs> Get on, Bez. Look at her. She is living her best life. <laughs> Sitting down. She needs a TV dinner in her lap. Um, yeah, we're going to be furnishing the apartment. <laughs> the flat above. We're going, to be, we're going to be furnishing the flat above. I have made a start. I'll introduce you to the family that are moving in now. I have made a start on the interiors. So a single parent going by the name of Tracy. Tracy Roberts. She's moving in here with her teenage son, Callum. Um, I've put a few little pieces down. The kitchen is going to be very bad compared to... Yeah, and I know like... Barrels isn't the, the best, especially since we've still got the scorch marks there from um from yesterday. <laughs> Let's get in and see Beryl. We've got to have a little visit while we're here because she is an absolute queen, isn't she? <laughs> I love her so much. Um, Yeah, the scorch marks are still there. But with this flat above, the kitchen's going to be a little bit more shabby. But I did put down some wood flooring in here. And in my head, this would have been like laminate wood flooring. Uh, that they got to replace the carpets. Because the carpets were absolutely hideous. Um, yeah, that, that's why we're going to go with that storyline. I think for the apartment. For, for the flat. <laughs> for the flat. <laughs> um, but this is Tracy. Tracy Roberts. Let's get into this mode. And let's get doing a bit of yoga. Tracy Roberts is... She's, she used to be a bit of a troublemaker. She did used to be a bit of a troublemaker, but she's on the right path now. She's on the right path. I'd probably see her in her kind of early 40s, mid 40s. Um, she's kind of a she's kind of a lost soul, is Tracy. She's kind of a lost soul. My storyline with her is that she was backpacking in, in India and she had a one night stand with a guy. And she didn't know she was pregnant until she got back from her backpacking trip. And that is where Callum comes into the picture. Uh, she's a good mum. I say she's a definitely, definitely a really, really good mum. In my head, she's a yoga teacher, part-time yoga teacher. But um, I think she might be at college part-time as well, like doing a nutritionist course, a nutritionist course or something along those lines. Just trying to better herself. So she can like move out of council block and maybe buy a house and and put Callum on the right path because Callum Callum is a little bit of a shit. He is. He is a definite little bit of a shit. So he's all he's hanging around with the wrong people. He's shagging everything with a pulse. <laughs> he's literally out there. He is Yeah, he's a bit he's a bit of a dirty boy, this one. But my thoughts were with Callum. The storyline for him is that I reckon he could be gay. I reckon he could be gay, but he's just hiding. He's getting very uncomfortable because he's not in any kind of hot weather attire. So maybe I'll pause it. Um, <laughs> great face there, Callum. <laughs> yes. So yeah, maybe he's like, yeah, he's still in the closet and quite far in the closet as well. He's like, and he's rebelling against it he's angry all the time his traits are um i've made him where are you come on come me down hot-headed paranoid that's probably from all the he's been smoking and a bit dastardly he likes to get into trouble a little bit he really does and tracy still is she's got a hot-headed trait as well like she's as i said like she's a bit of a lost soul so i would imagine her being a bit more hot-headed um, but she is good. She's good. She loves the outdoors because she's kind of this born again, like she's new age woman trying to get the best out of like holistic approaches to everything. She loves a bit of essential oil. She thinks it can cure anything. And no, her name is not Karen. But um, but yeah, that that is that was that would be where I would go with it. But 
<laughs> oh god, he's gonna die. <laughs> I thought he was gonna die. Sorry, my mouse keeps like skipping off. The DPI on my mouse is set really high. I'm one of these annoying people that only like to move my mouse like a millimeter. Um, but yeah, that I I think that's a really kind of cool start up point anyway with these guys and their storylines. So I think with the flat itself, I'm going to have as many kind of in Indian influences in here as possible. Um, but also I do want a lot of the stuff to be very mismatched and quite hand-me-down looking. Um, but I don't know. I still want it to be a nice place for them to live. I definitely do. So yeah, we're going to make a start. This was the sofa that I had in mind anyway. Because I think this is going to be the, obviously, the living area. Kitchen, um, Callum's bedroom, and then Tracy's bedroom on this side. They're both the same size, I think, the bedrooms in here. Yeah, I think they are. So, yeah. So, yeah. I kind of liked that storyline for them, too. I thought it was quite realistic, in a way. I kind of enjoy that. I do. I kind of bloody enjoy it. But I was thinking of putting these two. And this kind of adds a bit more separation as well. Just adds it into the living area but yeah and i think i'm going to make like callum's love interest this really camp um really camp gay guy who callum bullies we're getting into like sex education if anybody's a fan of that show the lighting looks weird there but they are definitely the same color um yeah he's like into this gay guy who's from a very wealthy family who we will be building in the other place like in newcrest um and maybe they can have a bit of like a a love story thing going on i kind of enjoyed that idea i don't know about you guys but i think you're going to love it i do um thank you for your for your feedback yesterday as well honestly some of you guys out there are so fucking hilarious like i've been pissing myself at you so please keep all of the hilarity coming in the comments because i for one am 100 percent here for it oh this could work I mean, I know it's like pretty squashed there, but I think this unit could work in here. I'm going to tone it down maybe a bit and go for a bit more of a, maybe even like a black unit. That's very um, Argos, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think we will. I think we'll go for the black unit. You can see by the walls as well, I've used all of the city living walls that look a little bit crap around the bottom. So it's all got a bit of damp. These are, these flats are quite damp. They weren't very well built like they weren't anyway. A lot of council places aren't very well built. Um, but yeah, I think so. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we're going to go for the black unit. I know it's very different. But as I said, I want a mismatch of furnitures going in here. Can we get the black one in here as well? Or would that be... Make it look a little bit too bougie. Um, I mean it doesn't, but I've, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it these tones. I really am. So we need to think about their personalities. Um, I'm thinking about putting a DJ booth if I can. I don't think I'll be able to. But putting a DJ booth in Callum's room. I'm wondering if I can or not. It's a massive thing, isn't it? Well, he could have a single bed. He doesn't need a double bed. So maybe we might be able to fit it in here. Is that the, that's the next one up from this one. That one's, is that bigger than that one? Or is that one just because it hasn't got the, I think it's because it hasn't got the things on it. Yeah, I would imagine Callum having something like this, wouldn't you? Neighbours absolutely hate him for it. He, he and Beryl do not get on. And I've been asked as well if I, if all the Sims are going to become with skills. And I'm going to make all of the characters come with skills that match their personalities. And I'm going to set them up relationships as well. So I'll make him argue with Beryl and stuff so they don't like each other. And do you know what I mean? I will make sure that as soon as the save file is ready that all of the personalities and stuff is there. And also, sorry, before we carry on building this. um, People have told me to do the roommate option for this. I'm not going to do that for this one. I'm just a bit weird with the roommate option and then uploading to a save file and stuff. Because I'm not sure that it works. Um, so I am, after this, it's just going to be single sim families or single sims living in these flats. And we can get as many stories as we possibly can then into one lot, which, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So yes, so that's, that's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. Yeah, I think this is the best orientation for it. We'll keep it there anyway and we'll get back to, we'll get back to this. So up here, I'd probably see some shelves. I'd see a shelving unit with a couple of photos of them all on as well. 
And I'll try and do that as well for like a lot of the Sims. I'll put photos of them around the house and things. Um, yeah. I want it to be as in-depth and full of detail as possible. I really do. I know that's like a kitchen one, but I love that object so much. Didn't it come with like a... Oh, I think it was a bathroom one, wasn't it? The bathroom one wouldn't... I mean, that could go in the kitchen somewhere. So I'll put it over there for the meantime. And we'll come back in here and just put up some normal shelves. We could do some black shelves as well, just to match in with this. Do we want to do like... No, I'll keep it in the corner. I mean, you would smack your head on that. But oh, well, is all I'm saying. Um, I hope you're all all right today as well. I hope you're having a nice day. I've just been chilling out playing Animal Crossing this morning. Nothing exciting on my end. Well, it is exciting because it's Animal Crossing and I'm in love with it. Uh, right, we need to put some like... I'm going to put a little bit of clutter down there. Just because Tracy is doing a course at the minute. So we want a few academic places, like academic sort of work pieces and stuff to be around. Also, I want to do a desk in her room with a computer. Um, I would imagine her being back at like uni part time, but obviously not staying. You know, I would imagine something like that anyway. Um, trying to get things up here is always a struggle because there is never anything. But I'm going to get a stack of CDs. Lovely. Oh, we'll get one of those out. I'll plop that in Tracy's room. Um, Yeah, maybe something like this as well. That's not going to fit up there either. But I'm just going to nine key it up. I know I could get the OMSP shelf, but we're here with a nine key now. So that will do. That will do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Also, name that film. Oh, yep, yeah, you as well. We'll pop you in there too. Bit of a pencil rack there for Trace. Loves a bit of Trace. Everyone's a bit scared of Tracy as well. She's a bit of a hard nut, I would imagine. Yeah, she'd have you. She would have you. So everyone's just a little bit scared of Trace. We're going to give her a meditation stool and stuff in there. And, you know, she's on that path. That path. The good path, shall we say. I think we shall. Okay, what else can we get up here? Anything? Anything at all? Anything? Maybe that like little pot of like weird bits. I don't even know what's in there. Oh, it's got like products in there. Yeah, like something like this. We don't need to be, to be massively and majorly neat here. Let's size you down. And then maybe just pull you out just one. There we go. Is that floating? No, it's not. Stunning. <laughs> And we'll put a couple of these up here too. So it's not really a pretty shelf. It's just more of a practical shelf. Um, And who doesn't enjoy practical shelf? As far as I prefer... And I, I prefer... Prefer? I prefer... I prefer a aesthetic shelf. But practical shelf is always good as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll put one a little bit forward. Is that going into the wall too much? No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's not too shabby. I think I'm going to do a little, um, hmm, a little reading light. But I'm just thinking, what kind of light can we do for a reading light on the wall here? Maybe this one. I'll size it down though, and I might actually change that sauce over there for this one. Sauce. Oh no, absolutely not. Needs a bit more light over there. That's just a reading light anyway. See, it's that same corner that gets blown out. I think it might be that tight corridor doing that, but it shouldn't bloody do that. That's weird as hell. Weird. Okay, so rug in this area as well. Um, No coffee table. In fact, I'll do a, maybe a small coffee table off the side here, but I could maybe use that coffee table in here. Um, I don't think they'll be able to get through because of the blind. No, they won't be able to. Oh, that's a bit of a shit. Maybe if I just get rid of the blind. What about if I put it up? That's going to be in the ceiling, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've just got rid of something. What did I get rid of? The wall light. Maybe I'll just put a flat blind on that instead then. Because that one was a bit hefty anyway. Where's that there? One of these. They should be able to get through there now. Um, Maybe in that colour actually, because of the sofa. 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. Don't know what we're going to do in this corner just yet. I would imagine maybe a bit of mu maybe a stereo, actually. Yeah, I can imagine it being a bit of a musical household. That's a good idea. I could get an instrument in here as well. Okay. See, I love doing it organically. I come in here with a few kind of bullet points of what I want them to be and what kind of person. And then I just let my imagination do the rest. I think that's the best way, my loves. It bloody is. Um, That's a bit big, but I'm thinking definitely this rug. But I might actually change the colour of it. Just something, just a little bit more. No, I'd see it a bit darker. Again, I don't want it to be all, all aesthetically, yeah, like that. A aesthetically matching and stuff in here is not what this family are about, really. They have the practical and what they can afford. Um, But, yeah, I wouldn't imagine Tracy being, because she's part-time. Um, I'm going to turn the door the other way. Because she's part-time yoga teacher and she's studying as well. Like, she's just trying... She's making ends meet at the minute. But she is a hard worker. A really hard worker. Um, And stereo-wise, I would imagine something like this, really. Like, I wouldn't want it to be too a big, huge one. So that does need something to go on. So maybe if I do even a, a storage unit of some descript... Um, I want it to kind of maybe to try and get something to match in with this. I know we haven't got this short, tiny living one. Um, let me go into here. Let me just see how big that... Oh, I was thinking of this one, maybe. No, look at that. Oh, no, they might be able to get through there. Um, ah, there we go. Yes. I mean, you can get that one in black as well and pretend it came with a set. A set from Argus. Argus. If I put that up there, is that going to fit up there? Oh, it does. Oh, it fits in it like an absolute dream. Oh, it's like it was meant to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, What else would we want in here? We need some photo frames on the wall. So what I might do is get the ones from... The Moschino pack. And then we'll fill them up with photos. Moschino. Oh, is it not in the frames then? Oh, what do you come in then? I wonder. Um, I'll put one like... It's a shame with that sconce there. It's a bit weird. I need it there though. So maybe I'll just move it across one. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that there. Um... Do, 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 do. Anything else? Anything else? No, not really from this pack. No, it's a bit too bourgeois. Maybe I'll leave that one as is. As it is. But yeah, okay. Um, I'm just going to have a little think just to like sort of like prep my brain a little bit more. Okay, after a little bit of thinking, I just think adding a few cracks and stuff around in this particular flat would probably help. Just around the bottom, just so it looks like there's... That's a bit too excessive. What is that? Just a bit excessive. Just around the kind of bottom where it starts to look a little bit damp. Um, Maybe she's on, like, the wait list to get her house... Ref get her flat refreshed. Uh, maybe a bit of extra damp over here and a bit of a darker colour. Stunning. Let's size you down and squish you in. Done Yeah. Uh, definitely need a little welcome map there as well. Uh, maybe to the point. Maybe the dine out like rubber one. That looks very um, welcomey. Doesn't it? <laughs> Doesn't it, my sweeties? We'll put another one there. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, I, d I think we need a bookshelf, though. I do think we need a bookshelf in here. Um, It's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze, but I think I might be able to. If I move this and this and squidge that along, 
I know this seat is pretty much pointless now, but it doesn't matter. They can sit here. I might be able to squeeze a cheeky little bookshelf in here, my loves. Oh, no, there, this is a bookshelf. This acts as a bookshelf, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, that acts as a bookshelf. Silly me. Nope, that's fine. Okay, so they have a bookshelf. Just, I would imagine she likes to read. Um, or like holistic approaches to life. And So out here, I don't know if that would register as it, it would register as it being endorsed and nothing would grow. Oh, that's a shame. I would have loved a, just a little planter here with some, I'm going to do one anyway. I'm going to put one anyway. And we can just pretend that she's got a couple, she's got a couple of, oh, actually, what about if I do this? Let's try something for science, my friends. We can put one down there, but then maybe if I can flop a couple up onto this level. I don't think that's going to snap to that, though, is it? No. So what am I doing? Damn you. Oh, yep, yeah, this one. Size these down. Let me see if these lift up okay. Is that floating is the question. Absolutely yes. Damn. No worries. I'll put some plants up there instead. But there, we can imagine Trace loves a bit of, loves some flowers. She loves the outdoors. It's one of her traits. So this she makes the most of the outdoor space that she's got. And that's the best that we can do. Um, Where are you? This is the one I was looking for. Just something a little bit excessive. Just out here. Flop you in there, my love. I know that's not what you're thinking it is, you absolutely filthy bunch. Um, and let's plop a few plants around. Nothing's going to come up here, though, is there? Now I need the OMS VVSP shelf. <laughs> now we need the OMS VVSP shelf. I never, I always, like, put the letters the wrong way around. Like OSMP and all of that, you know. Such a silly bum. All right, there we go. So plop up there. And then we can whiffed you over to here, my love. There we go. One there. Stunning. I would imagine her having a few arguments as well with Beryl. She's thrown a couple of plant pots down. <laughs> you have shower my son again. <laughs> I'll slap you one, Beryl, you old cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living for it living yeah she is definitely definitely threw a few plant pots down a barrel and barry <laughs> you keep that scabby cat away from my doormat i'm fed up with it <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we like we're absolutely mad and i'm i'm here for it i am 100 percent here for it my loves uh, Okay. Um, yep, yeah, a couple of those little happy plants. Happy plants. Should have put some on the inside, really. Maybe I could do like a, that little wall one by the by the door. Right, you need to piss off now because you're disrupting my placement. Yeah, just a couple of plants thrown around. Yeah, it's brought a bit of personality for them as well. Lovely. So maybe I can do that. Oh, we can do that there. That's what we'll do. We'll flop this here. Do I want to size this up? It looks really weird sized up, I think. I think it's a bit too big sized up. So I'm going to put it there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking above here, maybe. In fact, we'll do a mirror here. Just a plain. Oh, no, that one. That one would be cool. No, actually, that's a bit too. That stands out a bit too much in here. So maybe just like this one in the dark wood. There we go. Yeah. Just they can check themselves out before they leave. I might actually put a... Hang that like little coat and hat up here as well. I might do. I can never find this though. It's a bloody bastard to find. Um, There it is. Found it. Just here. Even though they have got that little... Oh, God, that's really high. I know they have got that wardrobe there where they can store stuff, but they can have a coat peg or two. I won't, uh, I won't disallow it. 
Right. Maybe getting in, like we said we were going to do some Indian influences. So maybe I could get in like this around here. There are no swatches for that. It's got a peacock on. That kind of gives me Eastern vibes. Um, Eastern vibes. Indian vibes. With a peacock and stuff on. So I'm going to use that there. But we'll concentrate on putting most of that into um, into Tracy's bedroom. I, I kind of enjoy the lighting in here. And it's quite cold and it looks very, yeah, do you know what I mean? It's quite, it's a lot different out of here. And that's to do with these lights. But um, I would imagine this to be quite a cold flat. Like she tries to save money as much as possible on heating and whatnot. I'm hoping they can get through that. They should be able to. As always, they will play a test it. So don't you worry. Um, yeah, I think that's enough kind of personality for as much as we can get. I might actually do one more painting above here. Should we size it down? Yeah, we'll size it down one. There we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, right. We'll move on to the kitchen. So the kitchen, as I said, is going to be very shabby so we'll definitely use the one from city living um and i might even do it in that awful blue color yeah we'll do that so don't forget to get a washing machine in this one um and i also put a laundry basket as well in uh, beryl's bathroom and oh also one of you guys did point out that the toilet was too close to the bath but you were right because she couldn't use it when i went to play a test it so i i've moved it along a bit and she's fine now she can scrub her pasty or she may wish I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, anyway. Moving on. Moving on, shall we? There's not going to be anywhere to eat, like, dinner table-wise in here, but they just eat on their laps in front of the TV. That's the storyline, and that is happening. Okay, so... Um, I might do the washing machine there, actually. Sink there. And I'm going to... Where can we put the... We'll put the fridge here um i wanted to put the oven there but it's right next to the sink so what i might do is just move it along and have the washing machine there even though the washing machine does i mean the oven does sit next to the sink in a lot of places in the uk um i just don't want it to in this particular build okay so so there again with the cooker we're going to use a really beaten beaten ass cooker in that white and brown Hang on. Have these all of us... Have I been using the new ones for this? Because that looks too new to me. That looked really new then, didn't it? Was I using the wrong ones? I think I might have been. I think I might have been... Yeah, I was. Such a silly bum. And I bet someone noticed and was like, Aiden! So, cook a... Uh, fridge. Should we do the fridge on this side? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Um, I know we weren't doing the oven there. We were doing the oven there. This was going to be the washing machine. Okay. Okay. Right. And let's go into the corner. Lovely. We can put the fridge in there. The washing machine there. Oven there. A little bit of that there. And then a bin in that corner. Does that give me space for them to do anything on? No, it doesn't. Why? Why is that? So maybe I'll do... Hang on. I'm going to put the washing machine in that corner. We're going to have the workspace there, the sink there, and then the fridge on the other side. Okay, that's better. Appliances. Someone told me as well that the washing machine was in appliances. I never knew that. But thinking back on it pretty obvious where it would be wouldn't it and then there's me being stupid but oh well um washing machine would do it in that brown that's not the brown there's a browner one i'm sure yeah that one absolutely here for that i will pull that out just slightly oh god that, i wish they, these like they don't fit in well at all do they to anything i hate it going in so far into the wall but then I, ha I hate having that glitch then. I hate having the glitch more. So we're going to keep it like that. Okay. And then fridge. 
Um, oh, and I also um, put a small fridge with a microwave on top as well. I might do that in this house as well, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll... Yeah, we'll go for that one. A little dog on it. And then we can actually get a microwave on top then as well. Just an old microwave. Maybe not in the brown though. In the white. Yep. Okay. And then the sink as well. Just your generic sink. That's the same downstairs. Stunning. Stunning. Right, this one here is going to go up here. Lovely. I would imagine she loves to cook like curries and stuff as well. Um, yeah, she just, she loves the Indian culture. Loves the Indian culture. We're definitely going to be doing an Indian family as well in this Let's Build. That is, that is for sure happening. Um, we need that UK representation. Um, cupboards, these battered ones. <laughs> the battered ones. And I think we'll just put them across this bit here. So that one and small, small, small. Um, yeah, we'll do small all the way along. And to this size, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Yes. In fact, I'm going to change that into the corner. And we're going to do that there. Stunning, stunning, 100%. Yeah, cool. Obviously needs a bin in here as well. Um, but the bin could probably go here. We'll just put a generic little bin in. Like this. Lovely. That should be fine. Should be able to maneuver in there. No probs. No problems. Okay. So. Details. Definitely need that spice rack going on. I might even do a sink, a dish rack in here as well. I might just flop that. That's in a shit position. Why are you in such a shit position? Hmm? Let me know. Yeah, if I could do that to there. And then I'll whiffle this back. Yeah. I know that's cutting into the sink a bit. Oh, it is. And it's going to annoy me. So let's see if we can maneuver it in without it snapping. I know I could just move this out the way. Where is my dish is gone now? I know I could just move this corner one out the way, but... Okay, I will. There we go. That should be better. That, if that's in the same position that it, we've just left it, it's staying there. Nope, that is better. <laughs> okay. Um, bread bin. We'll put a bread bin in the corner here as well. Can I put it on top of here? I mean, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Uh, I'll sit this into the corner though. Bloody hell. Sorry, my mouth sensitivity is so high at the minute. Uh, and I want that like one of all the colors on that was the one wasn't it that one's quite cute actually yeah we'll use that use that uh we definitely need the spice rack we'll pretend that this is spices as well spices again like why can't you just sit into the wall you would give us so much more room to play around with you know you know oh dude excuse me i've got a bit of an itchy nose um, that's CC. I nearly used custom content then. Um, where is that spice rack? Is it called spice rack as well? I think it is actually called spice rack. So I'm going to type it in if I can't find it. Um, yeah, no, I think it is called spice rack. There we go. Spice of life spice rack. It's that little circular one there. That one. Yes. Yes. Okay happy with that obviously need an extractor in here as well um and we'll use the same one as we did in barrels oh god in barrels old place yes i might actually I could, i'll do a clock up on this wall for a start going into the wrong place for clocks um yeah we'll just use like one of these oh no one of these one of those. Is that, is that too low? I think it is. Like that. Um, 
And maybe I could do the curfew thing in here from Parenthood. I don't know if it's in uh, decorations or not. Parent. Oh, that's Vampire's Aiden. Parenthood. Yeah, this. Just to set Callum's like curfew and whatnot. And he listens to his mum. He does respect his mum. Like, but he he's constantly going behind her back and being a downright little shit, to be honest. There's no other way to put it. Yeah, and I am going to do a rug in the kitchen as well. I'm going to do a, like a, um, like a, a long rug. That took ages to get out, didn't it? Um, no, that's got like the, yeah, like this. There we go. Yes. Yeah, I think that is basically the feel I want for it in here. For sure. So that's the kitchen done. Okay, well, we're going to move on to... Maybe we'll start Callum's room first. Okay, so Callum's room. Callum's room definitely needs a single bed in because that's all it's going to be able to fit in. I'm going to struggle trying to get a dresser in here as well. That's for sure considering this but i just think this would just make for really good gameplay with his character so i'm i definitely want to keep that in there bed wise just it's like the one from tiny living would probably work well in here wouldn't it um not tiny living university sorry um do, haven't we got like some pat yeah like these ones mm, that's a bit bright actually it's a bit bright it's a little bit bright so maybe i'll go for Eh, I'm not really feeling that bed, actually. I'm not. What patterns have, are these? are a bit... Um, in fact... No, I do want his personality to be in here a bit. So I do want some bright colours in the bedding. So maybe actually using this one. Oh, there's that other... There's that tiny living bed I was on about. This is the one. In maybe... Oh, that one's quite nice. Now, the wood's too warm on it. The wood's just too warm. Um, I mean, the woods are all warm on it, so you're going to have to pick one, Aiden, I'm afraid. Uh, maybe this one. Yeah, we'll get this one in. We'll flop this one into this corner. Yeah, they're definitely not going to be able to get a dresser in here. Without... Well, maybe he, he keeps a lot of his clo clothes in the entrance, like in here. But I did want to get a dresser in here. It's such a shame. Such a shame. I mean, I could fit maybe this one in somewhere. Like, hopefully. Even, oh, damn you. Look at, look at that squeeze. That could have been okay. But this is in as far as it can go. Isn't it? Maybe I could push it in just a little bit more. There we, yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's still not great, but he does... Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. I know it's cutting into the blinds there, but... Oh, and there. Let's pull you out just slightly, my dear. Okay. That should be okay. We'll put a lamp up there for a start. Put a lamp up there. On the little... Uh, I don't know if anything will fit up there. Oh, it does. Okay. Um, Over there. Yep, in that one. Or isn't that... Where's that? Um. Oh, that one. Yeah, not this one. Go away. This one. That one's a bit better. Yas. Yas queen. That's not in the right position. There we go. Okay. He should be able to get in that bed, no problems. But it's not going to leave us a lot of room anywhere else for any kind of detail. Um, I could get a TV in here. I mean, I could get like the tiny living thingy my bob in here and put it at the end of his bed because he. I'd definitely see him having a games console as well. Uh, maybe in white actually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. And I'll get in a games console as well. 
Not one of the big, big ones. Oh, that does fit up there. Perfect. Didn't know that that had a snap point there, actually. So that's good to know. Um, And I know The Sims... I don't know if he'd be able to use that, actually, because he's not going to be able to sit and watch it. He'll probably sit and turn to the side, wouldn't he? Which is a bit awkward, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, Some posters on the wall. Definitely need some posters on the wall. I would imagine the... The, uh... This, yeah, like these ones to be in here because he's into his DJ and sets and stuff. And he's deaf. Oh, is that the same? I oh, know I was supposed to use this one. You silly, silly bum. Yeah, he's all about that life. And where's that like big collection of? Ah, oh, this one actually. We'll size it down. We'll flop that around somewhere as well. Yeah, like there. Hmm. Does this come in other colours? Oh, it does. Maybe we'll do it in a red. Yes. Yes, Queen. There we go. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, this is a space, but I don't want to shove anything on it just yet. I might do like a some clutter objects on the floor, like the, the mess, like the laundry pile and stuff. Um, and then we'll put some more posters up around here as well. Or, um, no, not that one. Where's that? Oh, it's from Parenthood, isn't it? The skateboards, like the skateboards that are mounted on the wall. Maybe we'll use them. So a little goosey goo. Here we are. Look. Stunning. And maybe the alien one. Oh, that's a cool one, actually, for this room. Yes. Yes. Wayne. Anything else on there, really? Not really. No, you wouldn't have fairy lights. Well, you never know. You never know with Callum. Um, rug. I'll go into the rug in a minute. Oh, because that takes me ages to look through the rugs, and that's just boring to watch for you guys. We don't want that. Um, we need the clutter. We need the mess on the floor. Where are you? Let me find it and pull it out. Okay, there it is. I think that they can. I've used the laundry and also the kids' clutter. So we'll just ignore the tiny, minuscule shoes. Just pretend that that's his stuff just draped over the floor. Um, Fresh laundry as well. Fresh laundry. We'll pop a few of them up there. Lovely. And then maybe just like a, a figure of some kind. Like, um, I don't know. Something, yeah, like this. One of these weird things, wherever they are. The Porter Pals. We'll have one of them. Okay, have you got any with a face on it? Not really. They're just all kind of... Oh, that one there's got a face on, sort of. That one did too. But, um... Oh, maybe the green one. If you get my drift. Ganja Man. That's what that is. <laughs> That's what that is. Um, oh, no, look at that tucking into the wall. Oh, no, I don't want that. Oh, is that going to... I'm going to have to just overlook that. I mean, that is like... But I don't... That would annoy me more than this. Just poking in there. So I'm going to keep it that way. I'm going to keep it that way. And then up here, maybe some kind of neon light. Just to cast like a really cool glow into it. Maybe the one that we've got with the Moschino pack would look the best in this room. Um, Where are you? There you are. Obviously not in that size. But maybe, has this got a green light on it? Oh, it hasn't. But I can change that. So I'll change that to a green light. Yeah, I think that's Callum's room sorted pretty well. We're going to definitely have to play a test it because it is squished in in a lot of places. Um, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Let's move on to Tracy's. Let's move on to Tracy's room. So I want quite a bit of Indian influence in here. If I use that same picture, I have. So we'll get rid of that one. Um, bed wise, I'm going to go for something with a, um, like a Indian looking bedspread. I can't remember what one had that. Or was that a rug? cannot remember. Was it this one? 
Oh, yeah, it was this one. Um, I'm going to have to put it in this orientation and maybe push it into the wall. Let's have a look at the others because I'm sure there's a better one. I'm sure there's a better one. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is this the old one as well? We definitely want it to be the old one. Double futon used. Yeah, because of the, the headboard's different, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that one. And then the... The... This one here. She found this in TK Maxx. It's like, oh my god. Loves it. That looks right Indian. She was all about it. She's. I reckon she said to Callum as well that there, one day she'll take him to India and they can try and find his dad. Like she's tried to find his dad, I would imagine. Definitely tried to find his dad. But um, yeah, no luck, no luck. It didn't work at the place that she, um, where she met him anymore. You know, I was thinking this lamp. But, yeah, maybe that lamp just in the corner. This is a, like, little sanctuary. We need to get a meditation stool in here as well. And I was going to try and get a desk in here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. I really hope for the meditation tool. Could I? No, it needs a four square tile or thereabouts, I think. No, I'm not going to be able to get that in. Damn. Damn it. Oh, that would have been so cool. Damn. And I'm not putting a single bed in here. Nope, nope, nope. Um, let me see. I'm going to have a see. I'm not going to be able to get a dresser in here, though, if I do that. Or a desk, even. Oh, where could I put a desk in here? I could put the desk there and try and... Oh, I like that object in here, though. See, that's the thing with this, because they are mostly, like, tiny... Um like tiny builds is trying to squeeze everything into these it's a bit of a challenge um what was i looking for again i was looking for the meditation stool i just really want that in here yeah for gameplay i know that they can use them even if like <sighs> i really want it to be usable should we play a test it one second i'm gonna play it at this so yeah, she can use it. She can use it in here, which is cool. So I definitely think that we should use the meditation stool in here. So I think I will get like a... I might do the like tour dresser. Oh no, that's not going to work either. I don't know how we're going to do that. No idea. No idea. We'll come back to that. Anyway, Trace, get off, get off your meditation stool, darling. Okay, so I've decided to shorten the bathroom down. Main reason is we can just make that into like a bit of a wet room anyway with the university shower and stuff. So we can make a bathroom, but it's only a shower um, able to be used in there, not a bath. I also just player tested this area a little bit just to see. And I had to pull the sofa out just slightly so they could get in. It was a little bit tight here. Um, uh, and this, I did not think that they could get through that. But my loves, they can. And here is proof. You should just kind of walk through it slightly but hey it works and that's all we want that is all we want so this may now give me a little bit more room to be able to put a desk in here and i'm thinking just using the one from um tiny living maybe oh no actually i want to go a little bit more older with it or i could use that one i could use this one in a yeah that tone yeah this would probably work better actually a bit more ikea -y, isn't it yeah we'll use that one in here with a like a cheap um desk chair in that color as well that's going to match in with the bed yes and then computer wise i'd imagine i'm just having a laptop like just a really standard laptop that she can do her work and stuff on uh i'm thinking about actually popping this up here now can i like just and I'd like just maybe just squeeze you behind the there we go I'm gonna try not to use move objects on the desk because I know that that does bugger up a lot of the 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 uh um it 
doesn't allow your sim to sit down and stuff properly. I don't know what that's about. Yeah. And then I'm thinking about using that same kind of wall lamp over here as well, just above. Just above it. In fact, I think I sized it down, didn't I? Just above. So at least she's got a little bit of space now where she can come in and work and do her course and just get in her zone, you know. So she definitely can use that. So this now utilizes this space and allows us to be able to put a piece of furniture in here, which is lovely. And I'm thinking about, uh, can I get a wardrobe there? I think and I might be able to, you know. And that's not a bad swatch, really. I think that's the best swatch that we could get to match in here anyway. So maybe I'll pop a wardrobe just in the corner now. Yes. Yes, I do think so. And I'm thinking here of putting some incense and stuff in. I should have stuck some in more incense around the house, but I'm always a bit dubious with that stuff because it does tend to set Sims places on fire, doesn't it? We don't like that. Um, Where are you? Where are you? Mm, this one. Oh, you bugger. Not going to go up there anyway. I'm sorry. You look silly up there. Can I, like, put it... Oh, damn. I'm not putting it near curtains or anything because it would just set it on fire. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. There's nowhere else where this can go either. Oh, that's a bit crap. Oh, there we go. We'll use that one instead. That one fits in there. Yeah, that one there and a couple of, couple of candles. A couple of candles around. And then we're going to do maybe just a few, like, of the tapestries on the wall i think that would look cool in this room um so yeah candles 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 where are you um lighting here we are lovely yeah we'll just do a couple of candles just one there and one there lovely and i might because we're not going to be using this side of the bed I'm going to put a little window box in there with some plants, I think. Because again, as I said, Tracy loves a plant. Absolutely loves it. Uh, I wish there was better ones. I wish there was like just better ones. Yeah, that looks awful. So maybe we'll just stick with that one from Spade. Spade. From Spade. Just there. In fact, we're going to put it up just so it looks like it's sitting at least on. In fact, in fact, my loves, we're going to do a windowsill. I'm going to get this one in the white and just do a cheeky little windowsill. Maybe just size these down a couple. Um, Excuse you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll do two of them. And we'll flop the other one just underneath as well. Is that cutting into the curtain there? It is big time. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. 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 And then tapestry wise. Oh, I've got itchy leg. Um, hmm. I'm going to go and find them and get them out on the wall. Okay. So I got out this like framed one. We got out this little framed one going on there. Also I pulled out a rug as well, just to slip under the bed. And then also this one over the side, just where a little meditation area is. I thought that would have been pretty cool. A little zen moment. And I've also done the bathroom off of camera as well, because it just wasn't going to be that exciting. Um, So yeah, just a really small generic ba bathroom using the same stuff as downstairs in Beryl's place as well. And I just put a few more water stains on this one just to make it look a little bit more shabby. But I think this is kind of semi-complete, my loves. I really do. I think what we should do is just do a little bit of player testing and see what we can do. Let's um teleport Callum up here just so we don't have to wait for him to run up. Come on, my dear. In you come. Where are you? There we are. Can you do... Can you do this? Oh, you can. Okay, so we can... Yes, King. Get it. This is a fake Moschino jacket, by the way. We got it from... Got it from the market. Got it from the market. 
Right, can you sit on your bed? Can you watch TV? Uh, just watch TV. I don't know if he can or not. He might be able to. Will he sit down and watch it? Oh, he's getting all romantic with a bit of Downton Abbey. No, he can't sit down and watch it. Oh, that's a bit crap. But it's in his room, so he'll have to make do. He can't be fussy. He cannot be fussy. Now I just want to see if Tracy... Trace, get in here, darling. Let me see if you can still meditate. Oh, yeah, here she comes, look. Stunning. Okay, so she can still meditate in her little corner. Right, can you sit down on here and just practice writing? Let's see if that can happen. It can. She should be able to get in that bed as well, no problem. So, yeah, I think this is going to work. I'm definitely going to get a fire system in this place as well. Um, Just because I was just about to test this, but I'm a bit dubious. Evocative lemon. Well, we'll soon find out. Okay. Well, there we have it, my loves. There we bloody have it. We'll save the game off of camera. I won't... You don't have to watch me doing that, but we'll get the lighting back up. Uh, daytime. Oh my god, I've gone into nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. But yeah, we're done. We're done with the second flat. I, re I really like the personality in this place. It, it just seems quite realistic. Yes. It'd be interesting to see their character development, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? But, um, but yeah, we're done with the next one. We are done with the next flat. So, yeah, that, that there, my loves, was Tracy and Callum. Uh, we're going to be getting, we'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to be doing another one. I'm unsure again at what one I'm going to do, whatever the feeling takes me. I've got all my characters written down here that I know are going in. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming along for this weird ride again. I appreciate it. And I will see everybody tomorrow. Bye.